It's Gala and welcome to Motivation Monday. So this week's topic is going to be on waist trainers. I get so many questions about what my opinion is on waist trainers, so that's what I'm gonna talk about today. If you don't know what waist trainers are, this is what they look like. And yeah, they're basically kind of like a corset people wear to kind of um, help to shape their waist and apparently makes you sweat more and just gets that hourglass figure that people want. I personally don't believe in using waist trainers. Uh, before I start, I would like to say this is just my opinion. If you have have a different opinion don't attack me for mine just in case but hopefully most of you should agree with what I have to say I don't believe in waist trainers because of the dangers behind them and I don't feel like it makes actual logical sense what you're trying to do is permanently change the shape of your body so that it's an hourglass figure so if you don't actually have that this thing that tightly ties around your waist will do that for you logically just squeezing something for a really long time doesn't mean it's gonna stay like that because it will just go back to how it was before. I wanna start off by actually saying the dangers of using a waist trainer. You actually have some of your most important major internal organs in your waist. Now, when you're wearing a waist trainer, you are actually constricting your diaphragm and basically your diaphragm is what helps your lungs expand and contract. You're actually stopping yourself from being able to breathe properly and naturally. This can also affect the way you digest food. Now, what scares me the most about waist trainers is that a lot of people have gotten into the habit of using them whilst they actually work out and I personally feel like that can be very dangerous especially seeing as you can't get enough air to your body and oxygen is so important in exercise like you have no idea like the science behind exercise and oxygen like let, let's not even let like oxygen even oxygen in general is essential and actually a lot of people are using it to look a certain way and what it can do is stop the muscle development in that area because everything is so tightly packed together anytime you do any movement for that area is just not actually making progress in the muscle so if you're trying to get abs it's actually not gonna happen as fast as you might want it to because the waist trainer is stopping it from happening I have seen a lot of before and afters of waist training and from my personal opinion the before and afters look just like how anyone would look if they lost weight and toned up and started working out. A waist trainer is just like any kind of diet thing in the way that it sells you this dream but you don't actually realize that you actually worked for the dream if that makes sense. For example diet pills always say please do this alongside a healthy diet and exercising because they know that the actual pill doesn't actually just lose the weight for you, you actually have to put in work. Just like with the waist trainer, it wasn't the waist trainer that got you those results, it was your hard work that got you those results. I know right now the thing that's in fashion is the hourglass figure where you have a big butt and a small waist and everything's just all cute and fancy, but honestly, I can tell you right now in about a year or two, this body shape will be so out of fashion and something new will come along because that's what happens. Look back to the early 2000s, what was in was being super skinny. Can we remember that? Can we remember what we used to see on TV, in the magazines? Everything has completely changed now, but things will change again. So don't get so wrapped up with what's in right now and actually put your body in danger for getting that kind of look. All I'm saying is please trust the process of just exercising and eating healthy because it can do wonders for you and you'll thank yourself a lot more for it when you're older so you don't have all these random health problems from all the crazy stuff you tried when you're younger because they were in fashion or whatever. What upsets me the most is that there are fitness Instagrammers who actually promote these waist trainers and a lot of them are actually qualified personal trainers or qualified professionals who should know better, in my opinion, than to promote something like this. But in the same way, there are very good um, Instagrammers who have spoken up out about this, such as a billionaire on Instagram spoke out about it. Um, Lisa Lewis has mentioned how she thinks it's basically bull beep. I can tell you right now, the people who are promoting it are most likely getting paid a lot of money to do so, and that is why you see them pushing it so hard. Um, waist trainers aren't directly dangerous, it's not like you're gonna die tomorrow for it, which is probably why they feel okay with kind of just promoting these waist trainers because they're not directly harmful or super dangerous, so they're like, oh whatever, I can just take the money and be fine. And I can say from my own experience how I know that these people are getting paid to promote these waist trainers is because I've been offered ridiculous amounts of money just to promote these waist trainers and I'm not gonna lie I've been tempted because well who wouldn't want a bunch of money but I stuck to my morals and I knew that I didn't want to promote something that I don't believe in and I wouldn't want to put people in danger 
and sell a fake dream that you'll look a certain way when you use this product. And it's crazy because everyone and their mother is getting on this waist trainer business because anybody can get stock for waist trainers and start their own website and start selling them. So yeah, I'm not a saint for turning down money for not promoting these things. Please don't put me on a pedestal for turning them down because I feel like it's something any good person should do or any human should do knowing that something's not really going to work out for somebody. But I don't know, that's just my feelings on it. Um, it's something I do feel very strongly about. But as always on my channel, I'm always open to learning and getting more information because when it comes to health and fitness there are so many different opinions everybody has their own kind of style of doing things and I completely respect that and I'll never want to put my opinion out there and force people to think the same way as me so definitely if you have a different opinion on waist trainers please do comment below and tell me how you feel about them or why you might feel they're good or why you might feel they're bad because it's always good to share and discuss but please do not attack anybody else for their opinion and put them down for what they're thinking it's always so funny whenever I do any serious topics where I have a serious opinion on it I always feel weird because I'm like I don't not say luscious one time throughout this whole video what was that about anyway guys thank you so much for watching i actually have a new blog post up about how i'm getting on with my fitness and everything like that so do check it out down below i'll leave a link to it so you can check it out and let me know if you'd like to see more fitness updates i am doing the weekly vlogs and i'll leave a link to those down below as well anyway guys thank you so much for watching stay healthy stay luscious and i'll talk to you guys later bye what you want to do is mentally prepare yourself for this situation don't just go and grab some crisps or some chocolate to snack on grab something that's healthy for you and good for you and there's so many tasty options like for me